Today let's consider A level physics, this kinetic theory of gas. We want to prove the two formulas, and this formula is uh, pressure equals to 1 over 3 density rho v squared, and 3 over 2 kT equals to half mv squared. So when we mention kinetic theory of gas, we start off with a container like this. A container like this has a dimension or measurement of L, L, and L. So this particle is moving in this direction. Let's say we have x, y, z direction. x, y, z. Let's consider total number of particles being n. But we want to investigate one direction of this particle moving with certain speed v. So we just consider n over 3 first. So this is the number of particle moving in one direction because we resolve all the motion to three axes all right so if i consider the wall like this i have a wall so the particle is moving with certain speed v and it bounces back with the same speed v because it's elastic collision all right so the forces is mv minus mu over t because I'll take this as negative I'll take this as positive because this is the v the final velocity I'll take this as initial velocity so what happened is I'm gonna do mv minus m u is given as negative v so I have 2mv over t. Alright? But this is only for one. One particle. So if there are this number of particle, n over 3, I would combine this with this. Make sure you copy this before I flip to another page. So the total will be n over 3 times the force experienced by one particle. What do we have just now? n over 3 times 2mv over t. Okay. So another thing is for a particle that move from here, first collision, bounce back, before it hit the second collision, it would have traveled a distance of 2L. So the speed between two successive collision, we call it 2L over T. Alright? So can we say V over 2L equals to 1 over T? Why do I need 1 over T? Because back to this formula, I could write something like this 2nmv over 3 times 1 over t so I could actually put this into this formula and a little bit of arrangement of the formula I get 2nmv squared over 3 times 2L right and do some elimination you realize that I can cut the 2 cut the 2 I have finally an mv squared over 3L alright so let's remember this an mv squared over 3L F total equals to an m v squared over 3L but coming back to the same container when this particle hit the wall it hits a surface area A right so if we want to consider pressure pressure hitting on the wall is actually FT over A so FT I can fill in later, A is L squared, right? 
so I put in my nm v squared over 3 become l cubed because 3l over l squared is 3l cubed do you realize one interesting thing if you see this as total number of mass for one particle and this one being the volume isn't this m over v equals to density so what I get in the end of the day is actually a formula of pressure equals to 1 over 3 density v squared okay so this formula is proven already okay if you don't get it repeat the video and find out more about how to get this formula so another formula to prove is an extension of what we have right here if you consider ideal gas law we have PV equals to NRT so P is actually NRT over V let's start a new page to do this so we have P equals to 1 over 3 rho V squared this is velocity do not misunderstand this for volume okay so just now we also mentioned PV because the NRT so we say that this is NRT over V and this is 1 over 3 rho V squared this V is different because it's volume well I would want to open back the formula that I convert just now density is the total number of small little mass divided by volume V squared you will see that I could do some more elimination I can cut this off, cut this off this N is actually number of mole N over NA so I have N R T over NA 1 over 3 N M V squared I can do elimination again this and that and also given R over N A is actually K Boltzmann constant so 3 K, K T you can bring up the 3 become 3 K T and you're left with M V squared 3 K T equals to M V squared okay let's start a new page to see how this goes about just now we were saying that it has an RT over an A 1 over 3 MV squared M so we eliminate this N and R over N A is K and 3 bring up so I have MV squared but I want an, an expression for kinetic energy so it's half MV squared I put a divide by 2 on the right hand side so I should do the same for the left hand side divide by 2 so confirm that kinetic energy of a system depends on the temperature provided or the temperature reading okay how do you get temperature reading because you are providing heat energy your heat energy provide the kinetic the temperature reading and higher temperature reading shows greater kinetic energy alright so these are the proof for the two formulas and it has proven uh, many things especially the dependence of kinetic energy on the temperature of the system